Hello Cuba Rushford Elementary Rebels. We haven't been able to have music class for a long time. So uh, I thought maybe we'd do a little online experiment and see if we could have music class here. And I thought it would be fun to do some cool drumming. Now the only problem is all our equipment is at school. So what are we going to use to drum? Well, I have a pair of drumsticks. Oh, but wait, maybe you don't have any drumsticks at home. Well, in that case, you could always try a pair of chopsticks. Maybe you think it's like to have Chinese takeout. You could use them to drum. And if all else fails, you could just use a pair of pencils. And they would work. Use the eraser ends. Try not to spear yourself with them. So, you can find something, or maybe you have a better idea of what you could use to drum with. Let's talk about what we're going to drum on though, because a drum is a percussion instrument and most anything you hit, shake, or rattle uh, could be considered a percussion instrument. But there are a few things in your home you should not use as a drum. Do not use your family members. <laughs> Will not make the right kind of sound. Do not use your household pet. Do not use yourself, as some kids in music class like to, but I don't recommend this, because it hurts. So, maybe a few other suggestions. You could use a kitchen pot. Don't make off with your mom's kitchen pot unless you ask her. If you make off with it and she finds out you did and didn't ask, you're gonna see this. <laughs> So, ask permission first. Possible. You could also use a wastebasket, but this one came out of the bathroom. Sometimes these wastebaskets are pretty dirty, so ask your mom or make sure it's clean. If she finds out that you dragged a dirty wastebasket through the house, you're going to see this again. Mm. What we really want to see is this. So make sure you tell her, make sure it's clean. Or you might like to use a, a five gallon drum. I had one of these out in my backyard, used to mix up concrete in it, put a bag around the top so it wouldn't get yucky, and I washed it, and now it says that it's clean bright. So, flip it upside down, and I have my drum. So, with that, hopefully you can go and find something to use. And with that, we're ready to begin. So we're going to move right into a really simple pattern. But then we're going to take it and make it a lot more complicated. So we're going to start out with a really easy rhythm. If you're in first grade, you would say ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. If you were in four, third or fourth or fifth grade, you'd say one, two, three three and four. So what we're going to do is play that right in the middle of our drum. Remember your drum grip with whatever you're using. And I'm going to play right in the center. Just ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta, or one, two, three, and four. One, two, now, I'm going to play the same thing with just my left mallet. I'm going to leave my right mallet out for a minute. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to add my right mallet, but my right hand is going to do something different than my left. So as we get going in this, if your hands get mixed up and you can't keep your right and your left hand going, just come right back to the same old ta, ta, ti, ti, 
feet uh, and it'll be fine and then jump in as you can. So here's what's going to happen with my right hand. My left hand is going to play one, two, three, and four. Now my right hand's going to come in on the edge. I'm going to get a high sound and on the edge, hear how the sound's different? Low in the middle, high on the edge. And I'm going to play one, two, three, and four. 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 would be left together, left, left together. Left together, left, left together. Left together, left, left together. Left, left together, left, left together. And that's our part one. Part two has some different notes in it. If we counted this, we would say one, two, three E and a, four E and a. Notice these are different than eighth notes. Eighth notes have a single bar at the top. These sixteenth notes have a double bar. So we'll say one, two, three E and a, four E and a. But to make it easier for our thinking, we'll say ta, ta, watermelon, watermelon. So think about summer and think watermelons. So it'll be ta, ta, watermelon, watermelon, ta, ta, watermelon, watermelon, ta, ta, watermelon, watermelon, ta, ta, watermelon, watermelon. Do you remember what the first part was? So left together, left, left together, left together, left, left together, left together, left, left together, left together, left, left together. Now let's try the second half. Ta, ta, watermelon, watermelon. So we're going to do three, ta, ta, T T Taz and one ta ta watermelon watermelon. See if you can follow me. Let's start it together. We'll take it a little slower. One, two, ready, go. Left together, left, left together. That was one. Left together, left, left together. That was two. Left together. Left, left together. Now the last heart. Ta, ta, watermelon, watermelon. Ta, part one. Together. Left, together. Left, left together. Left, together. Left, left together. Ta, ta, watermelon, watermelon. Ta, left, left together. Left, together. Together, left, left together, ta, ta, watermelon, watermelon. Together, left, left together, left together, left, left together, left together, left, left together, ta, ta, watermelon, watermelon. Okay, we're gonna try this with some what's called funk jam. So we'll start at half speed and we'll do our two patterns and then after you feel comfortable we'll double it up and see how you can do just for fun. If it gets too fast or you get confused just come back to ta, ta, ti, ti, ta and you'll be okay because nobody else is there, I'm not there, I don't know what you're really doing. So it's all fun. Here it goes. together, left, left together, left, together, left.
What you found to drum on, what you used to drum, love to hear it. If you're able to keep with the beat, practice your ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, and your ta, ta, watch your melon, watch your melon. And remember those two rhythms. There they are once again. Ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, and ta, ta. Watermelon, watermelon. That's all for this time. Hope to see you again soon, either in school or online. Nice to see you. Happy drumming.